this is the 33 pounds or 15 kilos that I lost and today we're going to be showing you a series of high intensity interval training exercises. So what is that? High intensity interval training is where you work yourself uh, nearly uh, to exhaustion. That means if you continue your uh, form of that exercise will degrade. For each exercise, I will show a progression of different levels of difficulty and you can choose where to start based on your level of fitness. I want to comment a little bit about push-ups. You know, it's not about the uh, count. You, some people want to do push-ups and they want to say, oh, I can do 50 push-ups. So they're going bam, 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 bam. Well, when you snap uh, like that, uh, you're not uh, really getting the, the full exercise uh, out. So each rep is not the same. Actually, for push-ups you uh, want to go slow. Uh, you do a very slow push-up over several seconds. It's much more impactful than doing say several uh, reps within that uh, same uh, time frame. So again, it's a journey. It's not a race. It's not a competition. Uh, the number of reps that you do is not a bragging point. The point is to uh, strain your muscles for a certain period of time and get your uh, exercise uh, in uh, that way. So again, you do push-ups when you uh, start to uh, feel like you're losing your form. That's when you stop and uh, take a rest. And then most times you can do uh, three uh, sets. So let me uh, do the example here now for the three different types. So if you're just starting out in fitness, then you can do a simple one where you're going to leave your knees uh, down on the mat and just do a push-up uh, uh, this way. One, two, three. Okay? When you get a little more fit, you can go to your toes and do the same thing. One, two, three. Okay? Then uh, to make it even a little more aggressive, you can uh, lift up the legs uh, alternately. One, two, three. Okay, and finally again, it's not about the number of reps. So actually, if you go very slow like this, it's actually very beneficial as well. So it's the time under tension that gives your muscles uh, the workout, and that's what's important. See you next time. Bye. Hello again, this one we're going to do the wide arm push-up. So it's like the regular push-up except it works uh, the muscles are more in the upper chest. So again I'll do two variants here with the uh, knees and the toes. So now I'm ready here with my forearm. So now we're going to do the knees first. Okay, then we get better, uh, stronger, we can go with the toes. That gives you an example for that one. See you in the next video.